Hello guys, welcome to the first 81st meeting uh, to discuss what we're going to be doing in the fleet um, for the future few months while we wait for star bases to come around. Um, firstly we just need to do the introductions, so I'm Admiral Lewis, the Fleet Admiral. Immediately to my left on screen is Matt Zon, he's um, Vice Admiral. Uh, could you just say hi Matt? Um, and then going round the table from left to right, we've got uh, Ethan, the Lieutenant, Hello. and Travis, the Vice Admiral. Mm -hmm. We've got Big, uh, who's that, sorry? Um, Reaper. And finally, Big John, or otherwise known as All. Um, so for, I need to do some honourable mentions, um, basically honourably mentioning anybody who used to be part of the 81st on Call of Duty, so that's to uh, Tom Spencer, Joe Cumberbatch, Alan Joyce, Ryan Whittle and so on and so forth. I hope you boys somehow find your way over to us in the future. Um, and apologies for people that couldn't be here, I, um, Vice Admiral TK couldn't make it unfortunately, so I apologise for him and a few of the other captains that said they were going to be here that are who probably won't be captains for very much longer. Any anyway, moving on. Um, right, we're going to talk about bank contributions. So far the bank's been increasing heavily, quite heavily, every day it's going really well. Um, every time we get to a certain amount they do take like 1.2 million offers and give us a new repository so that's going to keep happening until we've got all eight so there's no I can do about it so please don't think that I'm just siphoning out of the bank and buying lockbox keys on the exchange because I'm not. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have a much better character than I've got now. Um, Never knows moving, mind, buddy. <laughs> so moving on from that, um, I want to talk about captain. <laughs> I want to talk about captain ranks and what um, basically anybody who doesn't want to do an administration role, the highest rank you're going to be able to achieve is captain. And as captains, uh, you're going to be expected to take on a role of like a trainer for new fleet members to teach them how to best equip the ships, what's the difference between science, tactical and engineer, what ships you want to have for science, tactical and engineer, um, and also even create YouTube videos. So do exactly like I'm doing now, which basically train people how to do the STFs, you know, the um, like the reputation missions and how to earn your best marks and all that sort of thing. Um, I will be wanting people to volunteer to be captains and that's how you'll be uh, be made a captain in the fleet. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else anybody needs to add about the captain rank, now's your time to add something. No, I'll, I'll take that as fair so. enough. Um, yeah, next moving on is going to be fleet removals. Shortly after this meeting, um, we're going to be going through lieutenant rank only and just basically removing anybody we think is completely idle and not playing the game or some of the people that just haven't contributed at all um, to anything. Yeah, no doubt. Um, but um, anybody who's, pe who's listening in online right now, because this is broadcasting live, feel free to leave any questions in the chat box. We'll be able to see them as they pop up on the screen and um, we'll answer them at the end. Um, also, next. Um, over, the next, over the next sort of two weeks to a month, we're going to be keeping an eye on the um, logs and stuff and see who is and who isn't contributing. And that's going to be across the board. Right, brilliant. So yeah, you are, everybody is going to be monitored on, on exactly what they're putting into the bank. The other thing I wanted to speak about with the bank is the repositories. I've made it so that everybody can take items in and out of it. Uh, you are limited depending on your rank but um, just try and stick to what I've titled them so if it says mark 12 space only just put mark 12 space gear in anything that goes in lower than that I will just take out sell it and put the EC in the bank I mean if, if you just want to do that yourself it'd save me the time of having to mess about so you know and I'm, I mean I will I will I will label them up yeah, I will label the rest of them up so that like the like beginning characters who can only put Mark 6 and Mark 7 stuff in will have some uh, repositories just for that sort of gear so that when we all create new characters we can just grab that gear, not have to bother earning anything and get through the game as quickly as possible and then just put it back when you're finished. Um, 
So yeah, uh, moving on to my next point was chat and social. Um, so that the guys feel free to stick your mics on and have a little say on this. But um, what it is is I want the chat feed to be buzzing pretty much every time anybody's on. I want everybody to be asking, you know, can we put anybody want to play a PVE or anybody want to do PVP and just you know actually play together as a fleet, regardless of whether you know them or not. It'll be a great chance for people to get to know each other in the fleet. Is just by playing together and accepting invites to different uh, parties and stuff. Yeah, mostly I'll just be running about doing it by myself. Because <laughs> that's the thing, yeah. we don't want too many people doing it solo. Yeah, a lot of people are playing by themselves. Um, and we want to get, we want to change that. We want to get more people playing together. Uh, we want to get the fleet working together. Yeah. I mean, a, a good example of that was the other night, wasn't it, where we had all five of us in a team and it were a great laugh. We got through about six PVEs in seconds of the time it takes to do it, you know, when you're just running around with, with random people and we got the best stuff out of the missions as well. Well, I'm going to be setting up a... Um, I'm in the process at the moment of setting up an um, 81st Fleet app um, so that we can all sort of keep... We're going to have like a leaderboard as who's, who's contributing with, like the most into um, the fleet bank. Um, we're also going to have like a chat where we can all get together. I know we can do it in the game, but it's a little bit easier to do it on the phone. Um, we're also going to have a few more options like mail and stuff like that. Um, if anybody's got any ideas of what what they'd like in the app, um, just let me know. Like yeah. Uh, yeah, either send him, send him a private message or even, you know, keep it in mind and the next meeting we'll throw a, a section out for people to put forward the ideas they had for, um, for Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Travis. Travis who's spoken there. Um, so, nice one there. So, uh, right, um, any questions or anything anybody wants to know, uh, feel free to ask me now. Yeah, no, I've, I'm, I'm already part of that, and I think uh, Travis is as well. Yeah, but, well, any any way of putting those onto a certain chat media, I'm happy to have a, a, like an 81st Facebook page as well, and all the rest of it. Um, I'll be um, passing the app out uh, at some point um, in the future for mm -hmm. beta testing. Um, so if you guys want to do that, then give me a Shot. Yeah, no worries. I know um, Vice Admiral TK, who sadly couldn't be here, he is currently going to try and develop us a, some sort of website for us to work on as well. Ah, was um, it? yeah, okay, yeah, I was going to ask about So that. I'm going to get him to, to um, speak to you, especially so you two can work together on most of this stuff. Well, basically, we can integrate together, we can basically yeah. integrate the two into each other. Um, I've recently met somebody that's very fluent in coding. Cool. So I might be able to get him to give me a hand as well. Right, that's, um, that's what we needed, well, pal. I'm, I'm still quite <laughs> new to the coding side of things. Like I said, if anybody if anybody is watching this um, and they know about like they've done coding and they flip, they know Java um, and XML code, uh, preferably knowing Android would be good as well. Um, but Java's pretty good. I can fill in the blanks. React. Oh, I'm not you. Sounds cool. Um, right, I'm just trying to find uh, where this is getting. Oh, there it is. Right, no problem. So yeah, if you go onto YouTube now and just search for Extreme 2009-84, you'll be able to um, listen in on this fleet meeting uh, if you aren't doing it already. Um, what's the next thing I needed to talk about? Sorry. So what okay. are we going to need for uh, stuff for the fleet, you know, when we actually start building that? And I mean, ah, what yeah. resources and all that, right. what are good, we going to need? Good question. For, for the fleet projects when the Starbase comes along, 
Um, you want the provisions, it's like the, you know, the little cards you've been getting that everybody's been probably throwing away, like it's like seismic stabilizers and uh, entertainment provisions. Um, I, I ain't got a list of all the, all the, but there's quite a few of them. Um, and you've probably all got a load and sold them already, but what you need to do is start stacking them up in your inventories. You can stack them in blocks of 99, so you can get loads of them together and they don't take up too much space and then just save all ah, them. So that's what they were for. Yeah. Save all those sort of things for when the uh, Starbase projects launch. They'll ask for them, they'll ask for fleet marks, which is uh, something that we'll be earning doing fleet missions, and that'll obviously something else, another kind of PVE. Do you know the main ones that they're going to be needing? Um, or wanting the most of? I'm not too sure to be honest. It's different, different ones for different missions. I mean, I think uh, if we go tactical, I know the, the little screwdriver ones. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called self steel, self sealing bolts or something. So I know that, that's the ones. Yeah, I think we do need quite a substantial amount of them. Um, and also dilithium. Lots of dilithium, guys. Now, if a quick trick for you to be able to get the fleet dilithium, so it won't actually come out of your own pocket if you know what I'm saying is go to the Ferengi at the mining station and turn your my dilithium mining claims into fleet dilithium um, vouchers and then basically you don't have to refine it it'll give you an amount for how many claims you've traded them for and you'll just be able to contribute that straight to the fleet without having it to, to come out of your refined ore I've got a, there is a YouTube video as well explaining on how to do that and you can do the same for your reputation dilithium as well you don't have to keep putting it out of your own stocks you can just get these vouchers and, and have it go out of them um, I think we're coming up to the end of this now guys I've just got a last thing is the next meeting um, I'll probably make it either in a probably a month's time if this time's good for everybody I can keep it around this time on a Sunday yeah so we'll try and make it a month, yeah. we'll try and make it a monthly yeah. thing, and hopefully we'll have a few more guys in attending uh, next month. It's uh, it's two o'clock, is it? No, after? Yeah, one forty-three right now. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, Okie doke land. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> right so yeah guys um, the next meeting hopefully we'll be discussing star bases because they'll have launched them then and we'll have a hell of a lot of stuff to talk about and and, and work on there um, but um, thank you everybody for attending and um, dismissed thank you very much